Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 81. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to flush static packages from package cache memory area. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to flush static packages from package cache memory area. Uh, I, when I say that it only applies to packages associated with compiled objects like stored procedures, triggers, UDFs like that. Uh, if it is like an embedded C application or SQLJ application packages, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have that much of experience on those packages. Uh, let's get into the scenario. So uh, there is a flush package cache dynamic uh, command or statement that is available, but it will only flush the dynamic SQLs. So there is nothing for static. There is no command like flush package cache static. There is rebind package uh, command. But this will not evict the uh, package uh, from the package cache memory area, it will only rebind it. Uh, the other option is to drop and recreate the object. It could be like a stored procedure in our example. So if you do that, then it will do uh, the, it will evict from the package cache uh, memory area. But also there is overhead of, uh, you know, if you have to drop and recreate the object, it is a considered a little overhead and also the user privileges will get lost so if you have some grant privileges and other things they'll get lost so you have to be uh, careful with that so you'll have to re-grant them so what is the solution or what is the best workaround for this so this is actually not a solution it's only a workaround there is no direct way of this so we can use the stored procedure sysproc dot sysproc dot admin revalidate db objects so when you you can pass the specific uh, procedure name or trigger name like that so when it is getting revalidated if there are some uh, static packages associated with that stored procedure which are there in the package cache memory area they will be evicted uh, so that is the uh, solution or workaround so let us look into example as usual so here i have uh, started the instance so i will connect to the database okay so it's going to take some time and already i have uh, so this is a stored procedure flush sp flush stored procedure like that it just updates a table uh, flush it sets the name and uh, name to some name and id to some id which we pass to that particular uh, procedure when we call call it okay okay so first let us just go and call this okay the procedure is already there uh, it already compiled so these things are already already done like the create table insert few records into them and creation of the stored procedure is done so i'm just going to execute this stored procedure alone okay okay done okay and i'll open another tab and i'll say db2 pd hyphen db dbase hyphen stat i see static so I'll, I'll show you the package in the memory so that for a stored procedure there is an associated package that will be executed so that package is what i'm going to show you this command is going to take some time okay so you can see here cdb2 inst1 schema this is the package uh, name okay so this is the package so it, it the thing is it will not get evicted uh, see the, the the point is we want to evict that particular package so even if i rebind that particular package using the uh, rebind routine package command so let's do that okay so let the rebind get completed so once the rebind get completed, we will again execute the same uh, static uh, command, db2pd static pack packages uh, command. So you can see that still that particular package is uh, available. Okay, so let me show you that. Okay, so you can see here, see that particular. So it, it did not get evicted from the package cage. So the only way to get it evicted from the package cage is running this revalidate object. Uh, uh, call okay stored procedure call so let us do that enter so admin revalidate procedure schema name uh, procedure object name 
and why is to force the revalidation see if it is a va already a valid object right so i will have to just force the revalidation so once that is done i will again run the static uh, packages to list down the static packages so you should be able to not see the the package that is the the uh, db2 inst1 some package right see here null id null id null id yeah that package is not there so if you revalidate a particular uh, stored stored procedure object if if there is if there are packages associated that are loaded into the package cache memory area those will be evicted from the package cache so that is the concept that i want to share with you so it, i think it is applicable to stored procedures triggers udf all kind of compiled uh, pl sql sql pl objects like that uh, i'm not very sure about the embedded c or like sql j kind of packages i don't have that much of experience in them so uh, hopefully this information or tip was useful to you see you in the next video tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy in youtube.com uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye